Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Thursday, July 29th, 2021, and we have 156 days left in the 2021 edition of the Game of Life. And I got a question for you. Does anybody ever use with uh, coworkers and other things that you're doing how many days are left in the year? That might be a fun little thing to do is I did it yesterday. I had a meeting last night about five o'clock and we were looking for something to talk about. And I said, there's 157 days left in this end of, uh, in the rest of this year. What are you going to do to meet your goals, dreams, and all of that? So feel free to use that. You do hear that each morning, how many days are left. And when you hop on to here this morning, please say, good morning. Please say good morning. It's just so fun. And uh, tell me where you're watching from and what kind of day you're having, a Shibboleth day. Now, I'm having a perfect day. Now, the reason I'm having a perfect day is because I have no more holidays left. And I have also decided to challenge Patty Bass. Now, we have a feature on the website called Battle Buddies. Battle Buddies. And if you are a Tiger's Eye Lifetime member, then you have access to the Battle Buddy feature. Now, yesterday I went into my account to um, find Patty in the system and ask her to be my battle buddy. Well, we weren't friends on the system yet, so you've got to find your friend on the system. And really, that's best done on a computer. I don't think you can do it on a phone. So you go to your computer, and then underneath where the your profile picture is, the little blue menu, under there it says Find Users. It's really best if you happen to know their um, username, but but even when you do know their username, if their profile is not set to public, you'll never be able to find them. So those of you who are listening right now who think, oh, I would like for people to be able to find me on the website, go into the purple profile tab, click edit, and then set that your Profile can be to public. Now, this doesn't mean to the general public outside of Shibboleth. It just means to Shibboleth members. And then, when you are in your profile, there is an extra tab at the top that says Privacy Options. So, you can have your profile set to public. Then, you go over to Privacy Options, and you can choose what you want people to be able to see or not see. Okay, what do you want them to see and not be able to see? In the privacy options, that's also where you will mark that you want to be able to be a battle buddy. So you have to have that little checkbox checked and then hit save at the bottom. Okay, so Patty and I are battling and that means that she's going to have three perfect days today, Friday, and Saturday just like me. Now, if she doesn't, by chance, it won't kick you out of the battle. It's just that the more perfect days a person has, the better their chance to win the battle. Um, it also looks at your percentage of weight lost and how much actual weight was lost and walking and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so y'all look into that battle buddy feature today and make sure you have your accounts all set up like that so you could accept those from your friends. Good morning, Tanya. Hey there. I'm glad you're here with us. Good morning, Kathy from Michigan. Having a perfect day. Diane from Columbus, Mississippi. Can't wait to see everyone at the Mix and Mingle tomorrow. Yes, that is, man, I thought about, I, I was thinking about you last night. I even mentioned you in my live video on the Kennesaw Shibboleth page. But after that, I thought, where's Columbus, Mississippi? And then, okay, so she drives from Columbus to Birmingham. Birmingham is this far because I'm familiar with Birmingham. So I was trying to figure out how long your drive was, Diane. Good morning, Colleen from Michigan, having a perfect day today. Good morning, Melanie. Hey, Michelle, good morning from Carrollton, Georgia. I am F day. Hey, Tony, good morning. She's in Florida for the last few days before school. Awesome. Have fun. Have fun. Enjoy that time with your family. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you for sharing, Diane. Yes, the share button, bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Just let it get out there. Let it get out there. All The world sends a whole bunch of stuff out there. Let's let this get out there. Y'all just hit the share button. 
Okay, good morning, Charlene from Michigan, having a perfect day. Hey, Diane from Kennesaw, thank you for sharing. And also thank you uh, for asking me that question about apple cider vinegar on that other page. I answered there and I'm glad you're having a perfect day. Good morning, let's see, Diane is having an IMF day. She's doing the Mighty London Wow Challenge. That sounds fun. Anything with a mighty in it sounds good to me. Uh, hey, Polly, I am F 18 hours. Wow, Polly, that's amazing. And she, Polly is from Dalton, Georgia. Hey, Julie, Julie from Indiana, I am F Day. Good morning, Vivian, how are you? Hey, Cheryl, I saw your message just uh, flip through. I'll look at that in a second. I am F Day in Clarksville, Georgia. Hey, Billy, good morning. Yes, sir. He says, ready for another hot day. So, y'all, I've been wondering, why am I so drained? I don't know because I'm doing my things, my regular stuff, but Billy may have hit on the, hit the nail on the head right there. Hot and humid. Good morning, Jennifer. I love your uh, video the other night with Wanda and Travis. So good. And I mentioned to you last night as we went over the recipe library and I showed your new recipe. So thank you for mentioning that and submitting that. Good morning, Cindy from Moultrie, Georgia. I am F Day. Good job. And Cheryl says, my husband and I are coming to the Mix and Mingle tomorrow. Yay! I am two hours away, but I look forward to meeting my friends in person. Awesome, Cheryl. That's going to be so much fun. And then Alicia, good morning from Fort Oglethorpe. I am F Day. Hey, June, good morning. Four pounds to go. Congratulations. Hey, Janet, good morning. I am F Day. Let's see, Vivian, we have VBS tonight, and I will miss tonight's. I hope there is another. I need more info on ACV. Okay, all you got to do is just drink. I just do about a tablespoon or two at night in a Sprite Zero or any diet drink. That's what I do. It helps control insulin a little bit. I mean, I don't, I don't expect it fully gets me back into IMF. I mean, not IMF, EFB, but it's useful. The best way to find out more and all of its uses is to go to Bragg, B-R-A-G-G, -G, Bragg's uh, website and look it all up. But apple cider vinegar, we won't be talking about that tonight, Vivian. You, you're not missing anything on that. Good morning, Jennifer. Let's see, East Tennessee, perfect day. And Colleen says that it's been hot and rainy up there in Michigan. Yes, you're welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. Um, you need electrolytes, not just water on extreme heat days. You're right. You're right. Thank you for mentioning that. I'm going to go put some uh, Rehydrate, Advocare Rehydrate. If y'all need that, it's at blowtorchfat.com, Advocare Rehydrate, blowtorchfat.com. Thank you for mentioning that. And let's see. Yes, I heard that he talked about uh, ACV last night. That's, that's great. I drink it all the time. And I was drinking some last night as I was doing my little video about Sasha. Sasha is coming to Kennesaw on Saturday. She'll be there from 10 to noon. Good morning, Gina. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And let's see. Cheryl says, Tammy Griffith just finished Fast Track. Oh, good. And she's so excited. That's awesome. I'm glad she's been there doing Fast Track. Let's see, Cindy says that she does a tablespoon and one cup of diet cranberry pineapple, and it is so good. I really like that one, too, a lot, Cindy. Me, too. Yes, awesome. Awesome. Good morning, Christy from Ball Ground, having a Tiger 16 day today. And let's see, Jennifer says, I love ACV mixed with the strawberry mix-ins that you add to a bottle of water. Tastes like strawberry lemonade. Okay, so are you just taking ACV? With the mix in? Tell me what tell me what the main liquid is. Tell me what that is, Jennifer. Okay. So um I'm gonna read this today. I'm gonna read a devotion today from this book. Jesus is calling for graduates. Um, I think that we all need to be graduates of all, all the time. We should always be graduating in our thinking of um being more self-disciplined and everything. So I thought this was good. And the Lord, um, oh, Michelle, we'll, we'll do some more. We'll do some more, Michelle. Um, but enjoy your grandkids. Enjoy them. So this morning, I read a couple of things. I read this to my son, and then I went upstairs and read some more. 
Um, Janet, I do like a, I don't actually measure it. If y'all have ever heard me talking on Fast Track, y'all hear me saying I'm not, I hardly measure anything. But I just take the bottle and I just pour a little bit of it, about like that much, you know, in the bottom of a glass. And then I just fill it up with whatever my favorite drink is that, that I happen to have in the refrigerator at the time. I try to switch those up. And here's the great thing I think about apple cider vinegar. It also, I think, helps curb some appetite. So I think it's really good for nighttime. If you like to eat at nighttime and you've had that habit, then you could drink that at night. So I often do that. Let's see, Jennifer says, I mix a bottle of water. Okay, that's where I was with the Starburst strawberry mix. Okay, I, I guess that's a zero calorie thing, right? Starburst strawberry mix. And then a good size of splash to ACV to it. So Jennifer's just splashing her ACV in as well. Yes, you're welcome, Janet. You're welcome. So y'all can do that at night. Not only can it give you something fun to look forward to, as well as curb your appetite and um, and help control some insulin. So I think this is a great thing to do. Me personally, I think at night um, to keep you from eating. All right. The, the, today's devotion is called There Is a Better Way. There is a better way. And several of the things that I read this morning from the different things that I read, although I did not, okay, cool, Jennifer. I did not want to get up this morning, but you know, Miss Daisy comes in there and she goes, Woof! that's it, there's my alarm. So I got up and took her outside. And then of course I started, actually I went back and got in the bed for 30 more minutes until I saw that Jackson got up and he, you know, has to go to work today. So I got up and I'm, guess what he had? He had AHS cereal this morning with fat-free fair life milk. I sent him for lunch fiber gourmet, uh, fiber gourmet mac and cheese with a 96% lean ground beef hamburger. He took um, the K's natural cinnamon twist, uh, cinnamon twist pretzels, a power crunch bar, and two choco ripe peanut butter patties and four waters. That's what he took today. Perfect shibboleth day. Now, he often does not eat the um, the three little other snacky things. He usually just eats breakfast, lunch, and comes home and eats dinner. So, I just put them in there because when you're gone for 12 hours, you just never know what you might need, and it's hot and humid where he's working outside. So, uh, but he, nothing in his bag is not shibboleth approved. Um, so, and we did his measurements earlier this summer just for the fun of it, and it was 32.5, his waist. And I told him the other day, I said, you do not need to get any larger than that. That's it, Jackson. You, That's it. Don't grow larger than that. So, let's see. Vivian, any tips for drinks with no caffeine and stevia? Wait, any tips for drinks with no caffeine and stevia? Yeah, zevia. Zevia. Zevia is a cola that would probably, some may have caffeine, like the cola one may have caffeine, but I doubt the rest of them do, Vivian. They've got strawberry flavor and orange flavor and ginger ale and lemon flavor, um, and it's called Zevia. That's what I would look for, Vivian. Hey, Susie, glad you're here. Yeah, oh, Christy just answered that. Zevia, awesome. Okay, so let's read this and... Um, Janet Jackson is my son. Yes, he's 18. He just graduated from high school. He's been working at Whitewater, and he gets up and leaves early. This morning, I told him, I said, now, Jackson, I like to work as a team, and I know that you're taking a shower, and I'm preparing these other things so that you can take them off, but there are going to be days and times when I'm not here to prepare these, and you're going to have to get up earlier and do it, but the mama in me just wants to just uh, be there for as long as possible, uh, but I try to remind him that, you know, this is because I work with him as a team to accomplish more and that I love him, but he can't expect that forever. Um, yes, yes, he is. He's a wonderful, wonderful son, Janet. Thank you for asking. All right. So there is a better way. Thank you, Janet. And I give him a hug and he drives away. I'm like, I love you. <laughs> like the weirdest. Michelle's like this too, Michelle Harper too. Though. Hey Deb, good morning, having a perfect day. That's awesome. Okay, there is a better way. Let me help you get through this day. Now I'm going to read this. Okay, well, this is Jesus calling. So when I read this, I'm reading it like Jesus is speaking to you. So just 
Take that in for just a second. I'm reading this like Jesus is speaking to you. Let me help you get through this day. There are many possible paths to travel between your getting up in the morning and your lying down at night. Stay alert to the many choice points along the way, being continually aware of my presence. You will get through this day one way or the other. One way is to moan and groan, stumbling along with shuffling feet. This will get you to the end of the day eventually, but there is a better way. You can choose to walk with me along the path of peace, leaning on me as much as you need. There will still be difficulties along the way, but you can face them confidently in my strength. Thank me for the problem you encounter and watch to see how I transform trials into blessings. And the verse is 1 Corinthians 10.10. 10. If y'all want to type that in, 1 Corinthians 10.10. 10. Do not grumble as some of them did and were killed by the destroying angel. That sounds scary. Okay, but the point is do not grumble, all right? Now, the very last sentence here spoke to me. I'm going to read it again and watch to see how I transform trials into blessings, okay? So, uh, my husband is going through a trial, and that's, that's when I said the other day stuff was going on here. He's going through a trial, and I understand. So, what I'm saying to him is, let's just sit back and watch God work, okay? Let's sit back and watch God work. He is going to do something big, and if we let ourselves have, posture ourselves towards that of, yeah, um, there's something going on, but the Lord must be working. Let's just sit and enjoy and watch him work. Watch him work. It's a lot more fun to do it that way. A lot more fun to do it that way. Let's see. Okay, June. So as, asking Christy what a Tiger 16 day is. Okay, June. A Tiger 16 day is a day where you are eating off of a specific food list you go. You were going at least 16 hours without eating, which can include your overnight sleeping time, and you're doing um, a little devotional and getting a certain amount of walking in. There are some videos in the video library of the Tiger's Eye if you're a lifetime member on Tiger 16. So really, what it is, it's a perfect Shibboleth day that's just a bit more advanced with a little bit more. I'm going to do this today, kind of thing. Hey, Patty, good morning from Murray County, Tennessee. And yes, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, man, I can start singing that right now. I love it. Thank you for mentioning that. Good morning, Marla. Hey, Marla. Oh, and there's Christy talking about it right there. And thank y'all. Thank y'all. You're welcome, Sherry. And thank you very much. Okay, now y'all don't forget to journal. You know why you want to journal? You want to create a timing chart. You want to create this timing chart. You need the timing chart. It is a great visual as to how good you are doing. You need to be able to see that. These flames will let you know if you're really stringing some EFB days together for great results. So make sure that you journal so that you create your timing chart. Don't let me catch you not creating a timing chart. Isn't that right, people? Okay, and then... Um, Please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory to let me know that you watched it a little bit later. Y'all have a blessed day and we'll see you later. Bye.